Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jesse. This is my garage. And if you're like me, you have a Nissan 300ZX NA. And I get asked all the time, hey Jesse, how can I make more power with my NA engine? Well, stay tuned, grab a pen and a paper, because gonna, we're gonna go over that right now. All right, well, the name of the game on making more power in our NA engine is going to be, we've got to get the air in and get the exhaust out fast and efficiently. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk about a new air filter, get rid of that air box, open up. There's a whole bunch of cone style filters that are going to allow you to have less restricted airflow. We're still gonna retain the factory T. That is, we don't necessarily need to jump to the dual intake setup with two maps, which will definitely help you get more air in there. But if you are running a turbocharged engine, highly suggest that. Uh, get rid of boost lag, but right now we're still on the factory actual motor and it's not gonna be a huge deal to deal with that on this, what I wanna call like stage one mods for your NA engine. So either an aftermarket comb filter or even if you had some high flow uh, replacement filters for your OEM one, that would work too. But the main thing, and I think it's overlooked all the time, is uh, you put an aftermarket filter on your car and then you did it, you checked the box. But I'm gonna tell you right now, in about three months, those are gonna be dirty and they need attention again, either cleaned or we need to replace it. So number one, airflow intake and uh, make sure it's clean. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about, we're getting air in the engine, we're getting as much air as possible efficiently. Um, we don't have any broken backing lines, all of that stuff. So the air is going where we want it to. The next thing we have to do is we have to get the exhaust out of here. An aftermarket exhaust system is not only gonna allow you to move the exhaust out of the engine, boom, and out of the car and get it out of your way, but you also get to do some sound tuning as well. Now on an NA engine, I'm gonna suggest like a two and a half inch exhaust. We don't need to go a three inch exhaust on our NA. It's just gonna be overkill. We do wanna keep like some back pressure there. We wanna make sure it's working efficiently. So we're just gonna go with a 2.5 all the way back on the exhaust and uh, get the tuning for whatever muffler system you're gonna use. Now, if you're like me and you have a two plus two, uh, the exhaust systems for your car are unfortunately extremely limited. I did find that Concept Z had a better selection of not only an A exhaust, but exhaust for a two plus two, I think they have one, which is more than I could find at Z1. So I would say for intakes, Z1 is good for exhausts. I would definitely look at Concept Z, check out their selection. They'd add a much wider selection for that. So that's just the aftermarket cat back exhaust. Not only does it help us remove the exhaust, but it also is gonna help us with sound tuning too. So you can sound really cool. Okay, so we've got our intake, we've got our aftermarket cat back exhaust, but what about in front of the cats? What about some headers for our car? And now for NA engine, on this guy here, the 300ZX, it's pretty tight in that engine bay, but a better flowing exhaust header is going to help us do what? Remove the exhaust more efficiently and hopefully add some scavenging to our exhaust system to make sure we're getting as much of that exhaust out of the cylinders as possible and drawing as much fresh air in as possible. Now, like I said, putting headers on this car with the engine in it, um, that might be more trouble than it's worth for horsepower gains. I don't know what the numbers look like. I know that uh, it's really tight in that engine bay, but it can be done. So you can get some aftermarket headers, put that on. Now, if you have a track car, off-road only purposes, get some test pipes, delete your cats, that's for off-road. EPA is gonna come knocking on your door. Otherwise, you know what they're doing right now out there and they're actually trying to make it illegal to even modify your cats even for racetrack use only. But right now, get some cat delete pipes too so you can go with some headers. Cat delete high flow pipe there, right to the exhaust all the way out. That's gonna free up and let your exhaust flow really nicely. Uh, we should see some gains on the dyno from that for sure. All right, no matter what we've done at this point, we have definitely uh, change it from the factory specifications on our car. We're making more power with our bolt-ons, but to make this more efficiently, uh, I probably highly recommend this just about for any car because these cars are getting older and we're programmed in the like 
late 80s, before Windows 95, before Facebook, before YouTube, before all that stuff, is we need to retell the computer what the heck is going on. We have a different flowing exhaust. We have different headers. We uh, have a different intake setup. We have different things going on and the computer is not running the engine efficiently to get the most out of those gains. Now, all this stuff isn't free. It costs a lot of money to do this. We want to maximize our horsepower and get the most, the biggest bang for our buck, make our engine, NA engine something to, that we can be proud of. So what we need to do is reprogram our ECU. Now we can either do this and this is gonna be the custom way is to get a dyno, get on some dyno time, somebody that knows tuning and can tune the 300ZX, which uh, they're out there. Do your research for your area, see if you can find uh, a reputable shop that knows their way around the 300ZX ECU and get that up on the dyno and get it programmed custom for your car. If that's not an option, if we just don't have a tuner around, we don't know, we can definitely go with an off-the-shelf tune from Z1 Motorsports, of course, has off-the-shelf tunes for 300ZX. They've been working on them forever. I have a lot of good stuff. Just tell them the specifications that you have for your car, you know, exhaust, intake, uh, cat delete, headers, whatever we have going on, tell them that. They'll have a map that they can put on, load onto your ECU, send it back to you, and reflash it to get the most gains possible probably gonna be about 90% efficient. Also, RS Empathy, they do like a ton of stuff, a lot of SR stuff, that's how I kind of know them for, a lot of RB stuff. They do some VG stuff as well. So they can, they're can. also an option to do that. And I think Jim Wolf Technologies probably has a flashing service and um, there's, so there's a couple of them, use a name brand deal and that's gonna get you, like I said, probably like 80, 90% uh, efficiency with their mods, that's gonna make our money go a little bit further. All right, so with the NA engine, we want everything running efficiently. So we need to make sure our spark plugs are running efficiently. We wanna make sure we have new spark plugs properly gapped for our tune. We wanna have make sure our air filter's clean. Even if we change it, you always wanna make sure that that is actually clean. So clean that, you know, maybe if you have a, like a K and N recharge system, for your aftermarket intake, or if it's a dry filter system, you can just hose it off. I would do that every time I did an oil change on the car. I would change, clean my air filters as well to make sure that those are in tip top shape. Now, if you happen to have your engine open and stuff taken apart, I don't know, maybe because mm, you're doing your 120K service, here's a little bonus part that's gonna go a little bit further. The first, all the first stuff I talked about was kind of bolt on stuff that would, be considered maybe like if you want to make a stage one type upgrade without actually getting into your engine. But if you were doing your 120K service and you're like, Jesse, I'm doing my 120K service. As soon as I'm done with that, I want to make all this power that you were talking about. Stop right there because I have a part right here that you're already got the engine opened up. And definitely if you're doing your valve cover gaskets, you already got your intake off. You already got your valve gaskets covers off. New cams could go in your car, like a 262 or a 258. I think Tommy makes a 258, and then Jim Wolf Technologies does like a 262. And the thing with the Jim Wolf Technologies one is they actually, you send your camshafts in, all four of them, as long as it's from a manual transmission, I think is what I was reading. And, you know, not too wore down because they can only work with so much. And they, massage they re-engineer your cams for um for a 262 overlap and then you know the, going for some mid-range torque you're already at the camshafts so you send those in have them redone or order some tomi camshafts and so jim wolf technologies has you can order brand new camshafts i think they're like 900 dollars. you can send your camshafts in for about 500 dollars and have it done and also maybe change the springs, do some other stuff in there. But that's one step further down than just bolt-on stuff. It is another way to start extracting more power. I think that's really gonna do it for you before you go ahead and rebuild the bottom to get a higher compression engine or whatever, that you wanna make more power because we're gonna need more compression. But that is a whole nother thing. And like, if you're gonna do that, I might just throw some twin turbos on that thing. All right, well, since we went over all these parts, 
I will say the fastest and the most gains you're gonna get is from doing a twin turbo swap on your car, but that is for a totally different video and I know everybody's gonna ask me, Jesse, are you talking about twin turbo in your NA engine? Are we talking about the OEM twin turbo engine from a twin turbo model car and putting it in an NA car? Well, that's up to you. Everybody has their, I, I see it all the time in the comments, everybody has their own opinion on which way is easier or better or whatever. The OEM, Nissan already did all the work. You can slap it in there. You can use the ECU, the OEM ECU, make it work. If you do put twin turbos on your NA engine, you will have a higher compression on your NA engine. You'll have to run lower boost and you absolutely 100% need to have that on a dyno and get it custom tuned to your setup. So I will tell you that one little tip. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see other videos, I've got another power video. I'm going to link right over here somewhere. Check that one out. Or if you want to see some suspension videos, I've got some of those too. More content, subscribe if you want to see more 300ZX stuff and I will see you soon.